Hello, my name is Russell Tilley. The remarkable and beautiful rhombic tilings discovered by Sir Roger Penrose, which exhibit five-fold symmetry, are related to an infinitude of other rhombic tilings, which may or may not exhibit n-fold symmetry. A regular polygon of n sides leads to a star of n vectors. This is a crucial concept, from a regular polygon to a star. The star connects the center of the polygon to its n vertices. Hence, all the n vectors of the star have equal length, and any two of the n vectors determines a ROM. When we exhaust the possible combinations of n things taken two at a time, we discover all the ROMs needed for a tiling with n-fold symmetry. When n equals 3, there are only three ways to combine the three vectors. But when n equals 5, suddenly there are 10 ways to combine the n vectors. But of those 10 ways, there are really only two different shapes of ROM that arise. That is, any regular polygon leads to a certain suite of ROMs. And it happens that we can tile the entire plane with that suite of ROMs. One type of rhombic tiling, which I discovered in the early 1980s, involves uh, concentric rings of ROMs. And they follow a rather regular pattern. And uh, one can apply this strategy um, to any regular polygon. One obtains a certain suite of ROMs, uh, one builds up a a certain polygon and then begins adding more ROMs to the exterior and there's no reason to ever stop. Now, uh, quite a variety of rhombic tilings can arise and if one uses what's called the generalized dual method, one can obtain a vast variety of, of rhombic tilings with uh, as little or as much periodicity as uh, one wishes, really and uh, one's not necessarily limited to using ROMs. One can use higher zonogons, such as hexagons and octagons, too. At any rate, such is a brief look at rhombic tilings. Thank you.